Most electricians have a favourite way to strip wires, or should I say, a favourite tool. One that's been in a toolbox for years, feels just right, and strips conductors perfectly with just the right amount of effort. And when that tool reaches the end of its life, or mysteriously disappears on sight, or perhaps that person you loaned it to never returns it, you can't help but go back to the exact same model. However, you may find yourself working with various cables and conductor types only to struggle with small cross-section conductors or different insulation materials using your current favourite tool. Fortunately, the Quick Strip Vario Automatic Wire Stripper from Vargo is here to help. Now, this tool is especially useful when you have hundreds or even thousands of wires to terminate, such as when you're building an electrical control panel or wiring a large distribution board. Now, Vargo is well known for its vast selection of connectors, including the 221 series connectors favoured by electricians and the top job DIN rail series used in control panel assembly. What not many realise is that Vargo offers a comprehensive range of tools to complement the connectors, including this one, which looks like a comb. Now, we recently reviewed the slim Vargo test probes, as well as this handy data cable stripper. If you've missed those, don't worry, we'll include a link in the description. However, back to today's mission, looking at the Quick Strip Vario. Now, this stripper has a feature we haven't seen in any of the other automatic strippers we've reviewed on the channel, so stick around to the end of the video to learn more. It's really simple to operate. You can set the maximum strip length of up to 20 millimeters with the help of this backstop. This feature is handy if you need to strip a lot of wires to the same length, especially when you're building a control panel, perhaps adding some ferrules to the end of those wires. The stripper can remove insulation from conductors ranging in size from 16 millimeters squared down to 0 0.03 millimeters squared. However, the actual performance of the stripper will vary depending on the factors such as the thickness of the material of the insulation, as well as the type of conductor being used. We found a difference between solid and finely stranded conductors. But again, having that adjustment is really useful. So to adjust, use the slider at the top and that applies a different pressure on the cutting blades for different thicknesses of conductor insulation. However, be cautious not to apply too much pressure as it may damage the conductors in small diameter cables like security cables with thin insulation. On the other hand, if you apply too little pressure, it may not remove the insulation, which is particularly challenging with harder materials such as XLPE. Now we often get asked about XLPE as it's a common insulation material used in armoured cables and low smoke cables and it's always a real challenge to strip. Based on our tests we've observed that this particular tool works best with smaller diameter XLPE conductors like this 1.5mm squared twin and CPC cable as well as 2.5mm squared SWA cable cores. However, as the conductor's diameter increases, the tool struggles to strip 16 mm squared due to the flat construction of the blades. Now, fortunately, Vargo provide alternative blade options, including an oval shaped blade designed specifically for 10 and 16 mm squared conductor. So we'll see if we can get a set of those and report back how it handles those larger conductor sizes. But that's also good news because it also means you can get replacement blade sets. Now we found the standard blades perform well with PVC cables across the range, including the thick insulation on this tri-rated class six conductor and easily handle alternative insulation such as the silicon on this fire performance cable, rubber such as this HO5, RRF cable and small diameter data cables. A few other features to explore with the tool. On the side, there's a cutting function, which is designed for flexible cables up to 10 millimeter squared or solid conductors up to 1.5 millimeter squared. It also includes a safety function so you don't trap your fingers. 
The tool can be locked in the closed position for easy storage in your tool bag. And there's also a loop at the back to attach a lanyard if you're somebody who drops the tools. Now let's talk about that mystery function. By using this lower slide, you can part strip a conductor, leaving the insulation slug intact at the end of the conductor. This technique comes in handy when preparing a large number of conductors that need to be terminated or ferruled later, as it prevents the individual conductor strands from fraying, making it more difficult to put the ferrule on. Also, the slug enables you to twist the wire. Now, the topic of twisting a wire before crimping a ferrule generates a lot of comments. Some people prefer to twist slightly to mimic the original conductor twist when it was made, while others don't twist at all. So what's your take on this? Share your opinion in the comments. Now, our team has been using this tool for several months now and has found it to be a dependable addition to the eFix toolkit. It even regularly makes an appearance on our electrician's challenge, helping those who are new to the world of cable stripping. We'd greatly appreciate hearing your feedback on the tool or any challenges you might have encountered while stripping wires so we can try and replicate them here at Lineside Studios. For those who enjoy Vargo's innovative products and work extensively with electrical panels or control systems, we highly recommend watching this video here showcasing the top job DIN rail terminals.